Hi, it's Wednesday and it's raining outside and the weather outside reflects how I'm feeling. How are you feeling during this pandemic? And I, and I want to talk to my Christian brothers and sisters for a minute because I know everyone, everyone, whether you're a believer or not, this pandemic has taken an emotional and mental toll and physical toll on us. But spiritually, my brothers and sisters, how are we doing? Because we've been talking about <laughs> Jesus wants us to be like him. And it's kind of hard to be like him when we are on this lockdown. And so it's frustrating for me as a pastor. Uh, before I became a pastor, uh, my line of work was I was a computer network engineer and, and I designed and troubleshot systems. So I was trained to look at a situation and find a solution. And so I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know what to do. Here in Miami, our school's gonna open in, in, in August and they're saying, no, we're gonna go online till October. Okay, so then churches, do we open, do we remain closed? I have several members in my church that have, has been affected by this COVID-19. And so, yeah, some people are saying, open the church. Go, close the church, right? And so it takes its toll on me. So what do I do? What can you do spiritually to stay connected? Well, look what Jesus said to his disciples. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20, these are the last words that Jesus said to his disciples. He said, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Listen to this. Jesus is saying, I have authority in heaven and everything that's happening on earth. This is not taking him by surprise. And he says, go and make disciples of all nations. Not, don't worry, don't figure out what's happening next. Don't worry about, you know, how are you going to fix this problem? Notice what Jesus is saying to his disciples. I want you to do something, which is go and make followers for me baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of this age. Praise Jesus. God is saying, I want you to do three things. When things are not certain, when you don't know what to do, three things. I want you to stay connected to me. I have all authority on heaven and on earth. Stay connected, pray, reading your Bible. And if you can, don't do it by yourself. You know, join a small group, study the Bible with someone. Because if you're gonna do it by yourself, eventually you're gonna dry out. So I have been doing that every night I'm studying with my friend. The second thing, you need to stay connected with people. Stay connected with church members. I'm talking to my Christian brothers and sisters. Stay connected. Call them. Um, you know, check up on them. The third thing Jesus said is go serve. Go make disciples. Go make a follower. Find opportunities to serve. And while you're doing those three things, don't worry about what's happening next. God is in control. He wants us to follow his example, which was to make disciples of all nations. And it's raining outside and you may be sad and depressed on the inside, but just know that Jesus made a promise. I will be with you to the end of this age. And that's my thought as I sit on my yellow chair. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.